I you I would always tell the parent you know just put your wear your shoes and imagine you had a child uh, with uh, uh, special needs or uh, with intellectual disabilities and just imagine what you would go through I mean you know because the children never have had an issue they we also have a buddy system in the in the class with the higher classes where every day the child picks up a, you know the children are asked to pick up a little shit uh, with you know the names are all put in a little, little basket and each uh, w uh, the child will pick up one uh, chit uh, romanchu would pick up a chit and it would be somebody's name or you know it would be say uh, a child so for that day the child would be the buddy for this he would be the helper for it was like a buddy for the day and they would actually wear the bat and say buddy for the day so the whole time during the class hours he would sit next to the child and help him with uh, you know if it's removing the book whatever little bit may not be academically but in other areas of carrying the bag removing a book and you know things like that so it used to it does definitely work it has its moments of ups and downs and certainly <clears throat> not discarding that but uh, everybody has to be sensitive to the child and uh, where where do they go the, most of the children need to be in a regular school they do not need special schools because it's only a very very small percentage who are severely uh, disabled that who have to be uh, you know into special schools they also learn by watching the other normal kids so uh, we've had a fair amount of experience we've had a resource room we've had a resource teacher so we would pull out we would segregate the child for the inclusion in bits and parts sometimes because a lot of the learning and the writing if it has to be done is done on a one on one basis so we've also tried that where when i've had five or six children in my whole school then i would have a resource teacher and she would pull them out or take them out and do a little bit of activity she would go into the class and you know help them in the class for about 45 minutes each and even that seemed to work so probably if you have a fair amount of children a resource room teacher who is able to sit or give one on one or be in the classroom itself and then uh, you know then you kind of segregate to include well you i feel it's a trial and error um, trial and error method it doesn't one show sure way doesn't work with these children and that's what we've learned over the last uh, 10 12 years and it's been uh, very gratifying and very satisfying because you find children are able to come to the mainstream of school and uh, the, there's no focus there's no attention totally given to uh, only academics what happens is we have to give them different papers some of them are not even uh, they're only verbal they don't write but it, they, you can never tell what they have learned because i many a time i was surprised you know there was this child romanchu who was in this in the class and one day i went in to take a class on geography and you know we had the india map so i pointed out to the different states and then i called romanchu to the uh, map and i asked him i said can you show me this state and that state and he pointed everything so accurately so the fact that he's not talking does not mean that he's not learning so we can never tell what the child is actually uh, you know picked up so it's it's been a learning experience for us too